Hello everyone, this is Daniel Nunez with OneStopEnergies.com. Today I'm going to do a little POE mini demonstration of overunity, just to show people that it's not the size that matters. We could still achieve overunity with this small coil. And um, let's show you what I'm looking at and why I think that it's overunity. So we've got the small coil. For those of you who don't know, there's a sound frequency that comes out of this uh, signal generator and this signal generator could be replaced with an Android phone so uh, anyway this is a sound frequency that's generated with this machine it's being amplified by the insignia amplifier it's a regular home stereo amp that goes into the coil we're measuring amperage voltage and the power with an analog meter then it comes out of the coil and into the LED panel where we're also measuring amperage, voltage, and power with another analog meter. We've just got this pickup coil kind of right there just to show the distance of wireless uh, ele electrical connection there. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Start up the sound frequency. We're using a frequency of 17.1 kilohertz so from the speaker we're generating a voltage of 21.7 from the output uh, speaker plugs on the amplifier that's what's feeding into the coil we're looking at 0 .0 milliamps. All right, and look at our power is over here our, just take note we're looking at it on a 250 volt scale there so we've got some wireless activity going on with our pickup coil, see this is wireless energy. If we put it on top, it's a lot brighter. But I just wanted to see at a distance how many inches we could get. We're looking at about two inches, two and a half inches. So on the output side, we're looking at 0 .024. So the amperage is lower. Now that could be changed with a capacitor by putting a capacitor across the outputs but I, I wanted to do this without a capacitor so this is just the coil and the raw connected to these LEDs. Our voltage is 113.8 volts and check out the power same measurement but now we're up in the middle so that's a big difference there. So overall what we're looking at is over here we're looking at 1.6 watts on the input and 2.7 watts on the output. So not a big difference there, but it is a difference nonetheless. That's the scope. That's what it looks like. So output is yellow. Input is blue. So you could clearly see that there's the same number of waveforms for per each pulse. And uh, the output is greater than the input. So what does this mean? Well uh, it means that this type of coil could potentially be wired up in a very specific configuration to make it power itself and that's the ultimate goal here. We want to have these coils self-powering. We want to somehow recapture the extra energy that's coming out of the output end and loop it back around so that may mean storing a bank of capacitors so you know we have a bunch of different types of capacitors here and we've been experimenting with that but nonetheless it's a it's an interesting concept that needs a bit more analysis not to mention if I go ahead and I disconnect those LEDs and I just leave this coil open-ended pulsing it will start creating a large amount of ozone and it sprays out directly from the center of the coil so I'm not too sure why that happens it's just like this arcing that happens with the intense magnetic field right in the center of the coil so um, nonetheless I mean in practical terms this means that we could essentially create technologies that are far more efficient and um, regardless if they power themselves or not it's always amazing when you have something like this just demonstrating that you could clearly get more power on the output side than the input side so that's where we're at today it's the same thing that we've been demonstrating for quite some time now 
but we're we're basically looking to implement these things in whatever avenues that we can implement them in whether it's pulse therapy high voltage lighting or what have you so just wanted to touch in let you all know that over unity is possible with the PoE mini and let you know that they're available on the website that's shop.onestopenergies.com and uh, please feel free to post this share it with your friends let people know that energy efficient technologies are here today and they just need a bit more attention so thank you all for watching thank you for sharing and love and blessings to you all